Really? Really? Hey guys, it's JT Tran, America's number one Asian dating coach. Now, those of you who have been following me for years know that I'm not like really outly political. I prefer to concentrate my form of activism um, in helping the Asian community by helping my fellow Asian brothers out. You know, to be more communicative, to be more confident, uh, to be leaders, and to be successful in dating. That's how I contribute. And I prefer to stay out of the entire kind of like Asian Twitter political infighting because there's like so much bullshit going on there. But today I had to just jump in and give my quick reaction to what's going on in like the uh, Asian Hollywood realm, which is namely Chloe Bennett, star of Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., a half, -a, half Asian, uh, is dating well-known racist uh, and YouTube star Logan Paul. Paul Logan, whatever the fuck his name is, right? Um, he of the Japanese uh, suicide forest fame, where he went over to Japan, ridiculed Japanese culture, and exploited the entire um, high suicide rate. A real Stellar example of, of manhood there, right? Now, we're not here to police you Asian women, okay? You Asian girls, you want to date whomever you want, you want to marry whomever you want, oh, God bless you, white, black, Asian, Latino, doesn't matter to me. What matters is when who you date affects the rest of us when you throw us under the bus, right? When you're just like, hey, it's okay if I date some alt-right neo-Nazi like racist guy and who, you know, disparages Asian culture, Asian men, that's completely fine to you, right? That's a problem, all right? Not here to police your dating choices, my Asian sisters, but gonna call out your hypocrisy. See, what's happening is, you know, this is not like the new normal, right? Like 54% of Asian American women out marry, right? And, you know, date, marry, whomever you want. But again, this is like not, not new, right? They, there was this uh, story in the New York Times where they were exploring like, why does it seem like the alt-right, all right, um, and like the neo-Nazi community seem to be obsessed with Asian women. They have that Asian fetish. They're like dating and they're married, you know, you got Richard Spencer and whatever, like known figures in the alt-right community. They all seem to have Asian girlfriends or wives or, you know, obsessed about it. But it's like, it takes two to tango, right? It takes two. Now you could say like, oh, JT, it's, you know, you can't blame them because of colonial mentality and internalized racism. Sure. That's a factor. But again, it's not like these women don't have agency. They don't have choice, right? They're choosing to say like, you know what? He's racist, but I love him anyway, right? I mean, think about that. That gives license to all these other people, all these other women, like it's okay, right? Um, and again, this isn't new. If you go all the way back to like Amy Tan's, like the Joy Luck Club, which is like, you know, um, they even taught in like high schools and colleges that, you know, it was a watershed moment for Asian community, sure, for Asian women, but for the rest of us, it, it just threw us under the bus because it showed like Asian men, we're all misogynist, we're terrible boyfriends, we're cheaters, and you know, terrible abusive fathers, right? And it puts like the white male savior on a pedestal, all right? That's the problem is when your dating choices affect your community and affect us men, we have to call out your hypocrisy. Not here to police you, but we are going to call out your hypocrisy. Like Chloe Bennett, she wants to be this leader in the Asian community and God bless her. Sure, we need more leaders, uh, well-known you know, figures that have a public face, but again, your choice here in dating a well-known racist affects us. Think about it. Right? Little kids are saying like, hey, you know what? If I am racist to, you know, Asians, maybe one day I can get an Asian girlfriend too. Right? Or maybe because I'm racist against Asian, I will get an Asian girlfriend. Right? That's giving license to this behavior that says that it's okay. And it's not. Asian sisters, my Asian sisters, you guys, if you don't want us to police who you date, then it's up to you to call out this hypocrisy because as Asian guys, we can't because we're all like getting gaslit. It's like, oh, you can't police who we date. Y yeah, I don't want to, but you can't keep throwing us and the community under the bus. Oh, gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. I mean... This is why I, I hate getting into all this sort of like Asian American political stuff because, you know, I went through this in college. You know, there was a time when I was like that bitter, angry Asian guy and it's a horrible feeling um, and it's just not productive. 
it's really just not productive, it's not good for anybody, and you know, you can't do anything about it, right? All I can do, all any of us can do, you know, that we have control over is what I do, and that's it. Like, you date whomever you want, um, and God bless you for that, but stop throwing us under the bus, okay? And, you know, to my Asian brothers, yeah, this the sucks, yeah, so like, you know, it, can you imagine if they actually hypothetically in the future get married and they have a son, and then son finds out, like, dad, you're racist against me, and mom, I guess you, you don't give a fuck if he's racist. <sighs> but my Asian brothers, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, right? You can point out their hypocrisy, but ultimately, if you obsess about this, like I've written ad nauseum about this, but the more you obsess about this, the more it just undermines your own confidence, your own happiness, right? And my word of advice to all the Asian brothers out there that are really tired of seeing that it's not about like Asian women out marrying to another race, it's about Asian women throwing their Asian culture and their own Asian brothers under the bus for the, some of that sweet, sweet white privilege by proxy. Okay? So, Asia guys, just concentrate on your own happiness. That's all you can control. Get out there. Um, get what you deserve. You know, if you want to date an oh, Asian girl, go for it. If you want to date a black girl, go for it. If you want to date a white girl, go for it. If you want to date a Latina, go for it. All right? And yeah, it sucks, but you know, individually, each battle must be fought, right? Um, and it's up to us to, hey, if we don't see the social change that we want to see, then it's up to us to be that positive social change. So, there are my thoughts, entire Chloe Bennett, Logan Paul, you know, thing. Um, you know, it's a little bit different from the videos I normally shoot, but I just had to get that off my chest. Uh, sisters, you know, point out the hypocrisy. Guys, just make yourselves happy, all right? JT Tran. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.